31 through 33 says state which triangles are similar and the method of similarity. If no triangles are similar, state the triangles are not similar. Okay, on this first one here, we've got parallel lines, so that tells us that alternate interior angles are congruent. And I think we could just do that because we only need two angles. And so we have those. So now we just need to match them up. If we start on the bottom with the A, we'll go A, B, E, which is congruent to D, C, E. So triangle A, B, E is similar to triangle D, C, E. And the postulate we used was angle, angle, similarity. 32. Okay, we've got overlapping triangles here. We know that this angle is shared by both, and we've got sides. So it's going to be side, angle, side if it works. So we're going to take the side of the little triangle, which is 8, and we're going to have to get the side of the big triangle, which is 8 plus 2, which is 10, on this side and on this side, if we add both up. We've got 17, so now this is going to be 8 over 17, or I'm sorry, over 10. It's going to have to equal 12 over 17. Well, you can see right now that this isn't going to reduce at all. It's going to have to stay just like that, so we can just say that it's not similar. 33. We've got two triangles that are right next to each other, so let's split them up. Make it easier to see. Okay, this is triangle P, F, Q, and this would be 8, and this would be 12. The bottom's going to be both of these, 5 plus 11, which is 16. And then the bigger triangle on the bottom, is S R U and we've got 15 10 and the top is 9 plus 11 which is 20 so to see if they match up we're going to write these in order from smallest to largest 8 12 and 16 and do the same down here 10, 15 and 20 10, 15, and 20. Let's see if they all reduce to the same fraction. 8 over 10 is 4 over 5. 12 over 15 reduces to 4 over 5. And 16 over 20 reduces to 4 over 5. So they are similar. So let's go up the short side down the middle one. So that is triangle. F, P, Q, similar to triangle U, R, S, by side, 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 similarity. And that's 33. That's 33. 34, determine the value of X these two triangles here. So we have to see, we've got the sides which are going to match up. Let's see which one of these we're going to use for this. Just to be sure, we've got alternate angles that match up here, and alternate angles that match up here. So the 10 must match with the X, so we're going to do 10 over X equals over 21. So 6x equals 210. Divide both sides by 6. x equals 35. 
And that's all we have to find. We got 35 says find the value of x. Okay, well, this is pretty much set up for us already. x over 3 equals 8 over 4. Cross multiply gives us 24 equals 4x. Divide by 4, 6 equals x. 36. Let's set angles of PQR in order from the smallest to the largest. And we know that the smallest angles across from the smallest side, so if we find the smallest side over here, that will be 25, so this is going to be the smallest angle. 40 is medium, 65 is large, so we can just go smallest angle R. Medium angle Q, angle angle Q, and then angle P. Most letters. If you use three letters, remember the middle letter is always the one name of the angle. Okay. Thirty-seven AD is an altitude of ABC. BAD is four minus three. ABD is two plus fifteen. Find the value of X and the measure of angle BAD. Okay. So AD is an altitude. That means this is a right angle down here. BAD, BAD is up here. 4, X minus 3. ABD, B is right here. It's going to be 2X plus 15. So we know that all three of these angles have to add up to 180 degrees. So we're going to do 2X plus 15 plus 4X minus 3 plus 90 equals 180. Combine like terms, we've got 6x, we got 15, minus 3 is 12, plus 90 is 102, so it's plus 102 equals 180. Subtract 102 from both sides. 6x equals 78. Divide by 6. x equals 13. And we also have to find measure BAD. BAD is up here, so 4 times 13 minus 3 equals 49. So the measure of angle BAD equals 49. And x equals 13. Okay, number 38 says AC is a perpendicular bisector. BC is 6x minus 13. CD is 2x plus 3. And find x and BD. Okay. Uh, AC is a perpendicular bisector. That means it's perpendicular. And it bisects this line here. BC is 6x minus 13. CD is 2x plus 3. We find x and bd. Okay, so first we need to find x. These are equal, so 2x plus 3 equals 6x minus 13. Subtract so small x from both sides. Gives us 3 equals. 4x minus 13, and 13 here, and 13 here, 16 equals 4x, by 4, divided by 4, x equals 4. Okay, now, we need to find bd. bd is the whole thing here. We need to plug it in here and here. So 2x, 6x minus 13 plus 2x plus 3 equals 3D. Plugging in our 4, so we get 6 times 4 minus 13 plus 2 times 4 plus 3 equals BD. 6 times 4 
course 24 minus 13. So 24 minus 13 plus 8 plus 3 equals BD. 24 minus 13 is 11 plus 18. Plus 8 is 19 plus 3 is 22. So 22 equals BD. 39. Find the range of the possible values of the third side. Okay, this time we say range and possible values of the third side. So we need to use that. Again, we're going to subtract the two sides on this end, which is 9, less than the third side, which is less than 12, plus 3, which is 15. So that's our range. 40. What is the slope of this line? Okay, to find the slope when you have a graph. Just find a place where it crosses an intersection, right there. Find another place it crosses an intersection, which is right here. And the squares. Rise is 1, 2, 3. Run, 1, 2, 3, 4. So the rise over the run is 3 over 4. We can check if we go up 3 again. 1, 2, 3, and over 1, 2, 3, 4. It'll land right on another one. So the answer is 3 over 4.